let me tell you about our day. Steve and I ended up not hiking more than an hour because we got totally lost from the woods. Took the wrong fork uh, going down and decided I did not want to be lost in an area where it was completely unmarked. Marked only in Japanese for certain areas. So instead, we went back to town, to Karazawa, and visited the wonderful information office and exchanged our tickets, our train tickets, to go directly from, well, not directly, to take four trains from Karazawa to Nikko. So here we are once again, and I'm thrilled we are here for two nights. I don't have to get up early tomorrow. I don't have to carry that heavy backpack. Yay! Pinkyo Sacred Bridge marks the entrance to the sacred precincts of Nikko. According to legend, Shoto Shonen from 735 to 817, the holy ascetic was unable to cross to the sacred mountains because of raging waters of the river. Upon offering a prayer, a deity appeared and constructed a bridge allowing him to cross. Thus, the bridge itself is considered to be sacred. It was reconstructed in 1904. We're back at Daiki Daikiti Hotel Spa. We were here three years ago. And that is, we think it's the world's biggest hammer, maybe. There already is a video up on YouTube, but I am redoing it because every time is different. 7.30 in the morning. Oh, 20th anniversary, huh? Of Toshugu Shrine. I'm gonna have to browse. Love the socks. So we are now here in the second floor. We're on the second floor. Okay, so the onsen, the public bus is on the sixth floor. And tonight it will close at 12 and it will open tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Okay, this is the second floor. And our room's on? In your room tonight open the third floor. Okay. okay. And the emergency kit is right over there. Oh, I'm here, Sheila. I see, Simkin. I know to take the boots off before we step on the tatami. We have boots off. We may enter now. Oh, beautiful view. There's our suitcase. I can change clothes now. Unfortunately, this is supposed to be changing all oh, the maple leaf season, but they're not very vivid here because the weather hasn't been good. So bring your own set of this towel. And so you can wear this yukata. Is one small for me or are they all the same so size? I, we have here two medium size and two small size so you can choose. This. Separate toilet. This is a very high class. Ryakon or hotel, whichever you choose to describe it as. And over here is our sink area. With more hair brushes, more toothbrushes. Shower area, steeping tub. And that's me with the hair like the SOS Brello pad. But I'm going to attempt to make it curl again. Red slippers. We requested three futons tonight. The one with that little foam thing where we were last night was not enough. It was very, it was like sleeping on the floor. The hot baths here are on six, the top floor. As always, blue is men's, red is ladies. Stairs up there lead to the back of Toshugu Shrine. But we're here to spa, never mind the shrine. If I'm lucky, there'll be nobody in there but me and I can video. Let's see. 
No, nobody up here but just little old me. And it, like all different great spas here. So all kinds of cleansing oils, lotions. It was an indoor and an outdoor one. And this is where you soak and suds yourself, clean yourself. Feel you squeaky clean before you get in. Oh, does that look good? So before we start, I'll just explain about something about the course for tonight. For the start, so this is our Aisho Kazancho, so this is our apple leaf. Just to help you simulate your appetite before our main course for tonight, kindly we start with this one right here. That is? Aisho this is our apple leaf. This, by the way, this is citrus alcohol. Alright. And this one is our uh, <coughs> sakizuke for our uh, sake appetizer. And this one is our zenzai. They, uh, this is uh, our antipasti. And this one right here, our sonomono. So also our uh, vinegar dish. So the yellow one is ponzu, by the way. And that's uh, chicken sous vide. So just mix it with our sauce right here and it's ready to eat. Alright. So we're so going to we barbecue. Yeah. We're yes. going to barbecue here. We change the fish for, for this. by the way, this is uh, ox tongue, by the way. Ox tongue? Ox -tongue. Yes. Okay. And this one is yuba shinjo. This is uh, actually similar to tofu. Uh, for, this is corn, by the way, uh, the scallops. And uh, the yellow one is squid egg, kumuchiri ika. This one is a wait, 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 that is squid egg? Squid egg, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That one is already really steamed. So just heat it a little bit and shred it to eat. And that is? Scallops. Scallops, those are scallops. Okay. The sauce for this one we have here, the kinsanji miso, the miso paste, and the yuzushio, uh, citrus salt. While cooking or after cooking, you can sprinkle a little bit of salt here. Do you can dip it in the sauce side? Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So our fine goes down very, very fast. So recommend you should deal also this one first. So do this one first? Uh, yeah, everything here is. Um, but I'll be assisting you with, with this one also. Sorry. That's okay. So the next one will be sashimi. Sashimi, yes, ma'am. And the next one will be our pan grilled meat for this one right here. Our tobanyaki. Our third dish will be our rice set. It's our rice soup and the vegetables. And the last one will be our dessert for the day. Thank you so much. Please enjoy the food. Thank you. Thanks. Tuna and uh, trout, I think he said. The sashimi. Well, these three are cooked. We're working on the corn next. And then I have never tried ox tongue or an octopus egg before. This should be an experience. We are just whopping our way through everything. He's. <laughs> Our waiter just talks so fast. I hope that some of it came out in the video. And tonight we're drinking soshu on the rocks. Kinsanji miso. So uh, this would one be ready in around eight minutes. Eight minutes. Yeah. So after to one kindly mix. To say it again. Tochiki. Tochiki beef. Tochiki <laughs> beef. Light it up. So eight minutes, huh? All right, I'll, I'll try to keep it. Called tobanyaki. The cow's tongue was chewy, and so is the squid eggs. They will never be anything that I'm going to order in a restaurant. Two gigantic purple grapes. Uh, that's some kind of purple potato, and he said this is. Something with mochi and uh, a filling. I miss my cakes and ice cream. Tomorrow we'll have to get ice cream as we walk around. That's what the inside of this greeny thing is. I don't know what we've eaten, but we've demolished it. Every room is totally separate. Let's see what they did to the room. Open sesame. They actually laid out everything in the direction that we like. And yes, they put three futons. Tonight, 
we are going to sleep comfortable. You are offered a you are offered a choice of fish for breakfast. There's barracuda, horse mackerel, red bream, and butterfish. Steve and I said no to the whole thing. We didn't even see our name. We're wandering around <laughs> looking for our breakfast room. Look at everything boiling here. Again. Okay. Gosh. I have no idea what anything is. This is chicken. That much I know. We don't eat those little nutto somethings or other. Let's have a look at the yogurt. What was the chicken? Pickles. I can recognize the pickles. Miso soup. More, more pickles. More, I don't know. This is shimmy tonight is scallop squid and tuna. I take it for granted that's Squidward. I have no idea what kind of fish this is because there's so much lost in translation when they try to tell me what 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 it is exactly. But it's really delicious. It's very mild. It was marinated in miso. And tonight's tempura, all vegetable tempura. And there's also going to be shabu shabu. It's beef shabu shabu tonight, and she said to wait till the oil boils, then do the vegetables first, cook the vegetables first, then do the meat. And tonight's rice has mushrooms mixed into it. <laughs> 